Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today I would like to thank all my subscribers and all my viewer watchers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Today, during this pandemic and everything, as you know, I'm cooking in the kitchen. So today I'm cooking with my Power XL. Today I'm going to be taking you step by step making some homemade bread. Today my greetings in this homemade bread, I'll be using half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of yeast, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons, tablespoons of butter, it's melted, and two eggs, and four cups of flour. And I have two cups of warm milk. Make sure you warm the milk up a little. Keep it nice and warm. And today, I'm gonna to be mixing up all this together. So I, first of all, I'm gonna start with my eggs. I'm gonna put it in here with the milk. I'm gonna mix it up just like this. Just mix it up a little, stir it up nice and good. And I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my butter in there. And mix that up, nice and good. Just mix it up a little, stir that up. I'm gonna put my sugar in there, and just stir that up, just to make sure it's just stirred up, just nice and good, so it wouldn't be at the bottom of the bowl. And I'm gonna put my little salt in there, mix that up. And now, I'm going to put my yeast in there, and I'm going to stir that up. Just get everything stirred up nice and good. And now, I'm going to be putting my flour in. I'm just going to pull that flour in like this, and stir it up. Stir that up. Put a little in, and I'm going to stir it up a little at a time. Get this nice and good, like I say, as I make this bread right here. It's gonna be something like French bread. And I'm testing out this Power XL. This French bread right here is gonna be good to drink with coffee in the morning or your hot chocolate. And it's gonna be nice and warm. If you can't get up and make it to the store, you can just do this. It just take about 20 minutes for everything between 20 and 25 minutes to make this good hot bread and have it with your coffee or eat it later on during the day with some butter or whatever you want to put on it. I'm going to put it right here that it just come out here on this mat. I'm going to just play with it for a while. Let all that come out like that. gonna put a little flour on the top of it so when I get ready to roll it that it don't stick so I'm gonna just get that like that and pat it get this up like that get it nice and good Just twirl it round and round just like this. To get it to where I want it. Just feel good. Get it nice and good. Put that over there. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up now and put it in the bowl. I'm going to put it in the bowl, let it rise, I'm going to put the top on it. And I'm, I'm going to pick it up, put it in there just like that. Put the top on it, and let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes, let it rise. As you see, my dough rose a little bit, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit the top right here, and I'm going to start with my Power XL. Like, like I say, this is my first time making some bread in this Power XL. 
Like I say, I'm going to be cooking a lot of things in this power exhale to see it does what it say it does. So I'm going to set this at, I'm, I'm going to set it at, I'm going to put it on bake. It's on bake. I'm going to press timer. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And then I'm going to press temperature and put it on 375. 375, put the temperature on 375, and I'm going to press start and let it preheat. Now it's preheating. When it's get through preheating, it's going to say add food. Then I'll put my dough in there and make this delicious bread. Okay, it say add food, so I'm going to raise it up. And I'm going to take my dough out this bowl. As you see it come out nice and good, I'm going to put it right in the pan like that. Make this bread nice and round. Like I said, this is going to be something like French bread. And I'm just going to pour a little butter on this on the top of it like that. Make it out. And I'm going to put the top down. And I'm going to press start. And now the bread is done. We're going to look at this together. I haven't opened it up yet. I'm going to press cancel. And I'm going to open it up. And take a look at this bread. The bread looks so good. I'm gonna get this camera and walk over here so you can take a look at this bread. As you see, the bread look good. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick a fork in it and see if this bread is done before I take it out all the way. Like I say, this is our first time making bread. Fork look good. And sticking in over here. Nice, I set it for 15 minutes. I'm gonna take this bread out. And look at it, it's nice and fluffy. Take it out like this, set it right in this plate. And I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna cut this bread as you can see, this is a nice, nice bread right here. Uh, I'm gonna cut it straight in half. So we get an idea and see. As you can see, the bread is still kind of raw in the inside. I'm going to set it in the power XL for 10 minutes. The bread is done, and that's cooking with the bells. And I add another 10 minutes to it, and it looks good. Thank you.